Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about 5 items that are out of style in 2023. More than that, they are not flattering and not adding anything to your style. If you don't want to look outdated, you need to get rid of these items right now. Lately I received a lot of questions from my clients what is out of style. So, I decided to make this video instead of the next Sarah and Cos unpacking that you're gonna see the next week. If you want to look elegant and modern, you need to get rid of these items from your wardrobe. You don't need them. I'm also going to leave the links for the alternative items in the description below, so check it out. And let's get started. The first and very important, the Uniqlo Ultralight jackets and also the other jackets like that, because there are a lot of them in the market. As I already mentioned in my Uniqlo store review, this kind of ultralight down jacket Jackets are only good for wearing under your coat, not instead of your coat. They don't have enough volume to be considered outwear. The only option is to use them as a sportswear trekking or running. Even on Uniqlo lookbooks, they take larger sizes and also unzip them, so in this case they look better. And even for sports, I would suggest using more modern silhouettes, larger kilting or simply larger sizing to get more volume. Instead of sticking to the stiff silhouettes, try to find the biggest size and the largest buffer as you can. The material also has to be stiff to keep its shape. The colors or kilting, they don't really matter if you have enough volume. The best options among everything are the ankle length and if you prefer the shorter ones they have to be under the waistline not something in the middle hip length is not the best one because it can cut your silhouette and distort your proportions the second one and really important is the knitwear that is very thin and legs shape visually it can enlarge even a perfect figure and also look quite untidy It doesn't flatter your figure at all. If it's too thin, it can also gather in folds, wrinkle, when you can see what you're wearing underneath your knitwear. It's also not a good choice, because it always looks stretched, not elegant, and also doesn't make much sense because it's not very warm. And maybe you remember, like, 8-10 years ago, the long cardigans, they were very popular among influencers and in general, they were everywhere. So now they're not popular anymore, especially the ones that are made from this flimsy and thin material. It's the worst. They look very sloppy and they don't add anything good to your outfit. The cardigans that are okay to wear are short and made of dense material, so you can wear them like tops, not like cardigans. It's not necessary to wear them on the naked body. You can also use a tank, for example, or a cropped top underneath this cardigan. The other dangerous items are the skirts, especially short ones, and the dresses. A lot of times, if the material is not dense enough, they can visually distort your silhouette and sag in some areas, like a hip area if it's a mini skirt, or a tummy area if it's a dress. So be careful with this kind of items, because they can add an unnecessary volume in the areas where you don't want it at all. So what do we have to choose instead? Opt for the chunky oversized sweaters, longer ones or short ones. It's very important that the short ones, they also have enough volume on the top. Or you can also choose the cardigans. They can be until the hip, but they also need to have enough volume. And the other option are the slim cardigans, but in this case you need to use them as a separate top. The third type of items that you need to toss right now are the cute prints. A lot of times that happens that if someone loves puppies or kitties or the other cute animals, they want them also to be on their clothes. No, that's not a good idea at all. If you see a cute item in the store, it's probably best to avoid buying it. Animals, flowers, sparkles are poorly fitting into modern styles and look like an attempt to add girlishness to an adult woman, which I personally wouldn't recommend doing. Now it's time to switch the things up, because even the kids don't wear things like that anymore. For example, let's check the latest Sarah Kids campaign. 
The good news is there are tons of amazing themes to choose from. For example, try opting for a grunge style with your favorite band. And it doesn't matter if this band is from 70s or 80s or 90s or 2000s. The most important is that the item has the modern silhouette and doesn't have this kind of childish details like beads or sparkles on it. In case that everything is fine with the item itself, you can even use the cartoons if they have an appropriate design. The most important is when you look at the item, it doesn't have to look like a, an item from a five years old girl. The fourth rule, please get rid of all office style slim shirts that you have in your wardrobe. They are no longer in style. The current trend is for shirts with a looser fit or an oversized. Women have embraced all men's clothing, including shirts. And this kind of special feminine styles are outdated. It's also the same for t-shirts. Better to avoid this V-neck tight stretchy silhouettes that are made specially for women. A more roomy masculine t-shirt, a square form, flatters everyone and looks much better in the arm area. The more fitted sleeve you have, the bigger your arm is gonna look like. However, you always have room for a personal style. It's not like you have to wear everything like men do. If you want a more feminine silhouette, you can simply tuck your shirt or t-shirt in your trousers or skirt or opt for a modern version of a waisted shirt. It has more volume on the top and gets more slim on the waist. The other items that you have to be very careful with are ethnic prints and items, such as those that you bought on vacation one day or the ones that have very typical boho style. It's very easy that these items can look outdated and a bit inappropriate for a modern and elegant look. For example, you can still find a lot of pasty patterns in all the stores. And they were very popular in the 70s and also for the pure boho style, but it's very hard to implement them in our modern wardrobe. Also, the items like handmade wooden jewelry that were not designed by a professional designer, a lot of times they also could look outdated. So just in case, if you're not sure, it's better not to buy them. So for now we have it, 5 items that you need to get rid in 2023. It's not like the other items that can come back tomorrow and you will need to use them. These ones in general, they don't look flattering on anyone, so it's just better to get rid of them. And also here is the offer, if you have an item in your wardrobe that you're not sure about, please let me know in the comments below or write me on Instagram, send me the picture and I'm gonna let you know if this item is okay or it's better to get rid of it forever. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Subscribe if you want more fashion tips and see you in the next video.